today we're going to be looking at recommendations, specifically three recommendations from St. Bernard on how to run an effective Catholic apostolate. Welcome my fellow Catholic to catholicfundraiser.net, a podcast, vlog, website, 100% dedicated to helping Catholics just like you with their fundraising. So whether you're starting out or you're just looking for new ideas and you're already on the path of raising what you need, you're going to get some great tips today, specifically from St. Bernard, on how to run an apostolate and connect that with fundraising. Now, before we dive in, just make sure that you download absolutely for free the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. These are ten things that I've been doing over the course of practically a decade on how to um, how to fundraise, what's been successful for me. It's also the compilation of a lot of advice from a lot of other Catholic apostolates and fundraisers. So make sure that you download that absolutely for free. Just click the link below and um, enjoy it. Okay, St. Bernard, you're probably familiar with him. He was a, a French monk, 12th century, revitalized the Benedictine uh, monasticism through the, the Order of Cistercians. So very, very famous um, French saint. And um, yeah, he wrote a whole lot of things. Obviously, he's uh, got Benedictine roots, and the Benedictines are really good at structure, order, and really getting things done. So here are three things um, that you should do. So if you run your Catholic, Catholic Apostle correctly, correctly, you will rarely have issues with fundraising. So that's why we're looking at how do you run an apostolate and therefore how is it going to improve your fundraising? Well, if you run your apostolate correctly, more than likely you're going to do very well with fundraising just because they go hand in hand. So number one, St. Bernard, and I'm getting this from, I'm reading this great book, The Practice of Christian and Religious Perfection by Father Alfonsus Rodriguez. Um, several hundred years ago, really smart guy. I'll put a link to this book as well. Um, but inside it, he references a lot of saints. And today I'm looking at St. Bernard. So number one, St. Bernard references the parable of the 10 gold talents, specifically Luke 19, chapter, th uh, chapter 19, 13, verse 13, which says um, he called 10 of his servants. The master calls uh, 10 of his servants and gave them 10, co 10 gold coins and told them, engage in trade with these until I return. Um, so the parable of the gold coins, we know what happens, engage it, but specifically um, St. Bernard mentions, engage in trade with these until I return. So this concept of God is giving you talents, um, God is giving you coins, you've got to know what to do with them. So. St. Bernard references this in a way of have constant endurance in trading with the gifts God gives you. So don't worry so much about what you don't have. Have engage in trade with the things that God is giving you today. It's really, really important, really important with fundraising that whatever you have right now, execute, execute, execute. That's point number one. Point number two from St. Bernard is have great care in promoting your industry as a business person would. So St. Bernard talks about never losing an opportunity to gain in virtue and holiness. Um, we often hear Catholics um, talking about, you know, the greed of money in today's world. Or we look around, people are racing for, for money, status, power, physical goods. We see it all over the place. Well, St. Bernard is saying that you should make these merchants and business people and day-to-day -day people look lazy. In the sense that obviously we're not going for what they are hunting for, but you should be as fastidious and as full throttle with the things of virtue. So if you have an apostolate and you have a mission, you've got to go full throttle on that and make the other people who are obviously going the wrong direction, but you, you, you've got to make them look like they're lazy. So. Number one, you got to focus on just do with what you have, parable the, um, parable the talents, uh, the gold coins, and, um, and then secondly, you've got to make business people look lazy. And the third point 
that St. Bernard mentions is don't let worldly men be more earnest than you. So this is somewhat of a reference to point number two, but I thought this was a great quote, so I wanted to set this out specifically as one of the recommendations. St. Bernard says, they run faster to death than we do to life. Again, I'm going to repeat that. They run faster to death than we do to life. So we can't let them run faster in the wrong direction than we are in the right direction. So rather than just pointing the figure at uh, the finger at all the bad that you see around us, and obviously more than likely, you know, I complain uh, about all the evil that seems to be coming around. I have to remember that I've got to run faster. You've got to run faster. You've got to make them look lazy and you've got to use the resources that you have. Put all this together. It's a recipe for success with fundraising. And if you go to my website, there's a whole lot of articles on how to incorporate what we've learned today into fundraising. I hope that you found this helpful. Share this with a friend, share this with an apostolate that you think might benefit. Thank you so much for your attention. God love you. And I look forward to speaking with you next week. Bye-bye.